dropping at the corner by Paloma. How long before you how long before you leave? Are you going or are you yeah, waiting? I went right now, I went right now. Most Ghanaians that I meet honestly don't know that I'm not Ghanaian until I say something. So upon first look or if I'm dressed a certain way or if I just got on some super fresh kicks and they, and they looking like they don't sell those here <laughs> or you got that black American swag then they kind of know but other than that they don't know but my experience has been that I'm, I'm normally welcome you know I'm normally welcome I think that that has a lot to do with the way you present yourself um, but I've had my experiences and conversations with people who say oh you are not African. <laughs> and then I always tell them, I know, I'm a super African. The Year of Return is a program by the Ghana government to welcome the African diaspora back home in commemoration of 400 years since the first documented enslaved Africans' arrival in the United States. I was uh, able to meet the CEO of Ghana Tourism Authority some years ago. And as we began to build a relationship, it was something that I proposed that if Ghana wanted to attract the African diaspora and if they were serious about having Africans in the diaspora come home, then they would present this idea of the year of return, which is a year long celebration of 400 years. I think the potential for economic prosperity individually and collectively and the propensity for it is big. I think Africa is the center of the world. I think one of the reasons why the media constantly portrays Africa as a place for people to stay away from is so that everybody else could come here and reap the benefits. There's no reason why everyone else in the world is looking towards Africa. And by 2022, 2025, Africa will have the youngest population on the face of the earth. Africa has the highest birth rate. There's so many things. Africa's rich in the most minerals. And Africa's probably the least developed with the most minerals and resources. And I'm not just talking about uh, natural resources, but I'm talking about human resources and potential. I don't know if I chose Ghana or if Ghana chose me or if we chose each other. You know, I know that Ghana has the most Africans of the diaspora living in country um, from last count than any other country. Ghana wasn't the first African country I visited. Um, Senegal was actually the first. And prior to coming to Ghana, I've been to Senegal, Guinea, Conakry, Gambia. But here I feel safe. I feel welcome and I feel like I can maximize the potential of me being my best self. So here I can go out of my way to get my way. Um, and again, it's a place that's developing. You know, the, the arm of white supremacy or the weight of white supremacy is a little different here, right? It's on the other side of colonization. It's not like in America. So you can realize who you are here. So I'm, I mean, I'm here for a host of reasons. And you see how good my skin looks? That's because the vitamin D from the sun. <laughs>